This is Lady G. Lady G. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Living the Vision with Lady G. That's who I be. You already know who I am. I'm your hostess with the most is. <laughs> Listen, we have some great guests for you. This is part two. We were at Worship or Arise Conference last week. This is part two of all of the great guests that we have in store for you. They are sharing with you the heart of God, the sound of God that I know will bless you as you walk out God's vision for your life. Don't you touch that dial. We have so much great wisdom and nuggets to share with you. I can't wait for you to hear them all. Hey, bye, my peoples. I am super excited to introduce you to Ryan King Jr. How you doing? How are you? I'm doing very well, Ryan. Thank you so much for joining us on Living the Vision. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Man of God, I witnessed your ministry and the gift that God blessed you with. I was like, you are sick. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. Talk to me. I mean, it was a great anointing. There is a great anointing. I was. There is a great anointing. Um, on your life and I'm believing that it comes from a place of being authentic and genuine and sincere talk to us about how you submitted to God so that he can anoint you not only with his presence but with the gift to lead people into his presence and make them aware of who he is it was a process it was a process of, of actually learning who God is you okay. know um, and he takes you he takes you through this process through different circumstances mm -hmm. and so life just kind of develops you yes. into becoming the worshiper mm -hmm. that you need to become mm -hmm. you know um different struggles different you know circumstances mm -hmm. you it, it it has its way of orchestrating you and developing you into the creation of a worshiper mm -hmm. yeah. amen so i hear all that that's good mm -hmm. you know we we hear that right all right <laughs> How did you get through that process? Because unfortunately, there's a lot of people, and you minister. You minister to people, and you see that it has not clicked yeah. for them. Yeah. They are not aware that the, sometimes it's just life. Mm -hmm. How do they get through that process? As a worship leader, how do you try to help people mm -hmm. basically leave their burdens mm -hmm. And lead them there. It's a trying process. One of the things that I believe has helped me was learning how to divorce myself from preference. Okay. Um, learning how to like be okay with you know putting my hands up and saying, Lord, however it looks like to you, that's what I'm willing you know to accept. A lot of times um, when we're praying for stuff, we we pray for something and we look for it in harvest form. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's like God is like, okay, you're praying for this, right. but I'm gonna give it to you in seed form. Right. Like Lord. I need this paid okay right. I'm gonna give it to you through a job and you right. got to save up you know what I'm saying right. so it's like we look for it in in harvest form and he's trying to show us and he's trying to show us his principles yeah. in seed form and seed is not our preference <laughs> harvest is the preference harvest harvest is what we want right. and it's like he's giving us something and that's like that's not what I want you know what right. I mean so it's just the 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 process of divorcing ourselves from preference and mm -hmm. just taking like literally just throwing hands up and saying lord whatever it looks like to you right. that's what i'll take you know what i mean whatever this next level looks like to you i'm willing to go with it mm -hmm. and be surrendered to it absolutely. and not fighting him all along the way absolutely absolutely and one thing that you said i know that when i speak to the father mm -hmm. and um just diff different people who love him and who worship him is that a lot of times people we've been taught or trained to see harvest as tangible yeah. and not necessarily the fruit of the spirit yeah. oh yeah, god yeah. thank you i feel <laughs> come on here lady g about to tear this room up come on here <laughs> yes um it, that's one of the things that we you know got laid upon my heart worship is the the product rather of worship mm -hmm. should be the fruit of the spirit Amen. worship That's is true. yeah worship is communion with the father yes. you know, so it's intimacy you know yes. what i mean with the father i'm here because of the intimacy between my mother and father right. you know what i mean just like we all are you right. know what i mean mm -hmm. and so the product of worship is not necessarily the presence falling and the mm -hmm. glory falling right. it's going to fall because he loves us yes. you know what i mean mm -hmm. but the, the the product of it is the fruit of the spirit that oh. you see within me yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. that 
I'm able to carry out Monday through Friday. And it's not just for a moment on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So we got to look for the fruit, you know what I'm saying? And not necessarily the presence all the time. That's that's the product of worship. That's that's how we get worship. I love that. I love that because that's a true story because too many times we have been raised with that's a mean Christian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We, we have that. That's a mean Christian. Why you, you know, why you're so judgmental? Why right. you this? Why you that? And it's all the the lack of fruit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the lack of fruit comes because of the lack of, of, of time yes. spent with the king, right. you know? Yes. And that time, which we know in communion, as you said, is worship. Yeah. All right. So now, you know, you were talking earlier and I want you to share it with our viewers mm -hmm. about what the Lord laid on your heart about the separation and how the separation from worship originally started. Yeah, um, it was an awesome moment um, here at the Worshippers Arise Conference and, and God really just shut everything down and it was amazing. Um, and he spoke to my heart in that moment. Um, and he he it was like I felt a drawing, you know, um, and he brought me back actually to the beginning where he was walking in the garden with Adam. The Lord and Adam were walking in the garden. And right at the moment when Adam sinned, that's when he separated himself. He saw he saw himself for who he was, you know, and he separated himself from the father. Right. But meanwhile, the father is in the garden looking for Adam. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the father told God told me right in that moment, he was just like, son, that's that is where the distortion of worship took place. Okay. You took yourself away from me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know you sinned. I know I already knew what you did. Mm -hmm. Anytime God asks you a question, it's always rhetorical because right. he knows the answer. Right. Right. You know, he said, Adam, where art thou? Right. He knew where he was. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it's about you figuring out where where are you? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You you took yourself from me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know you sinned, but I'm still here and I want you. Amen. You know what I mean? Bitterness is in your heart, but I'm still here yeah. and I want you. Pain is in your heart but I'm still here you know what I mean and I want you and so we have to not allow the things that we go through or not allow the circumstances that we may um, encounter um, or the sin that we might uh, fall into in the moment right. to take us away from the communion with the father right. it should push us to him yeah. instead of separate instead of making us run away from him I love that that's like so loaded yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so loaded but it's very very true and with that talk to our viewers who may be stuck okay. who may be running mm -hmm. from the voice and the call of the Lord as you're saying he's still calling saying I want you yeah. and you're saying but this yeah. but I did this yeah. but I did that mm -hmm. so talk to our viewers since they're living out God's vision for their life how can they get past that but yeah. and answer his call I think the key to getting past the butt is real simple. It's it's uh, learning how to view ourselves through the Father's eyes. You know, I think it's 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 learning how to view ourselves through the Father's eyes. When we look at us, we see sin. When we look at us, all we can see is the last thing that we did. But we have to realize that the Father sent his son Jesus to pay for what you did today, what you did yesterday, and probably what you're going to do tomorrow. The debt of sin has already been paid, and we have to look at us ourselves and view ourselves from the eyes of the Father. He still wants you. He still loves you, and, and you know, and he's still here for you. He has everything that you need, so don't run away from him, but allow uh, um, his love and allow his, his grace and his mercy, even in bad situations, to push you to him because he still wants you. But on that note, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how you can live the vision on. <laughs> come on, come on, live it out, y'all, live it out. Listen, I know real quick we have to go. You've been ministering all night, yeah. but I know that you have a new um, EP that you're working on, yes, yes. and it'll be out by 2017. Yes, yes. So looking forward to that. Tell yes. everybody if they want you to come to their ministry to bless them and their people, how can they reach you? You can reach me through book Ron King Jr. at gmail.com. Um, I'm on Instagram at Ron King Jr. I'm on Facebook as Ron King Jr. So anything, any form of social media, <laughs> Ron King Jr. Um, and you can hit us up on at book Ron King Jr. Um, at gmail.com. And in Jesus' name, you will see the EP Grace Lives in 2017. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Ron, thank you so much for joining us. Listen, people, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot in there. I know that you enjoyed it because I did as well. Listen, and don't you touch that dial. We have a lot more show in store for you. We'll be right back. 
Hey, this is Pastor Danny on Living the Vision with Lady G, and this is your visionary moment. Uh, not long ago, I had the opportunity of buying my wife some flowers. And when I went to the florist to get the flowers, it was interesting. I reached them in to pick them up and immediately pulled my hand back. When I pulled my hand back, the florist, she began laughing at me. And I said, Miss Kim, why are you laughing at my pain? And she said, you didn't notice the sign. And I said, what sign? And when I looked back, there was a big sign on the bucket. And the sign said, be careful, these roses have thorns. The truth of the matter is our life is the same way. Although things often go not the way we desire them to go, we kind of think that it is based off of the enemy when the truth of the matter is with good there also comes some bad. Paul says that even when he was praying after the Lord had given him a vision that the Lord imprinted that the devil would send a thorn in his flesh, but he changed the purpose. And I want to encourage you today to know that just because you have a thorn does not mean that God cannot use you and that God's not using you. Thorns come and they are a part of life. They are a part of the rose of your life. With these roses, there will be some thorns. The good news is that it does not diminish the rose. Focus on the rose and not on the thorn. I pray that you're blessed by the word and I hope you'll hold on to it. Remember, your ladder is greater than your past. Your future is brighter than yesterday and what's coming is better than what's been. Be blessed. Hey, what's up? I am Todd Delaney. This is Pastor Mark Collier. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jermaine Dolly, Mr. Hello Dolly himself. I am Real Talk Kim. Hi, I'm Miranda Willis, and you're watching Living the Vision with Lady G. My girl, Lady G. Lady G. Lady G. Lady G. You're living the vision with my homegirl, Lady G. Hi, this is Pastor Key, and I was lost until I started watching Living the Vision with the one and only Lady G. G. Lady G.